Okay, we've, we've just looked at uh, checking the tune of the instrument. Uh, the next thing that we would like to do is to check the uh, integrity of the entire system. But before we can do that, we have to learn how to or examine how to build an acquisition batch. So under the acquire uh, icon, let's, let's double click on the build acquisition batch. Now, as we discussed earlier, an important feature is to make sure that you're in the right project folder. We don't want to put any type of data into the API instrument project folder, so let's choose uh, test mix only, test mix only, this particular uh, project folder. So the first thing we see is we want to give the set a name. This is, this is part of the file name. And let's give it the name today's date. And we'll click on Add Set. Uh, I, I think you need to select the method. Yeah, but I can't okay. get to it. There you go. Okay. See if it'll scroll down. There you go. Uh, what method were we using? Test mix only GBI? That's the one. Okay, we've selected a method here. At this point, if we wish to set up a batch acquisition using multiple methods, we would cl click on this box. And even though we don't want to, I'm going to click on that box anyway just to demonstrate what we'll. The capability of the instrument. So now to this particular set we want to add samples. So we're going to click on add samples. Sample name prefix, uh, let's not put anything there. The data name prefix, let's call it test mix. And let's just set up to do three samples. Okay, at this point it, it set up a, a table here. Now, one thing to note on the table, and this is through practical experience, the injection volume is minus one. Well, in the method that we're using, the injection volume is supposed to be 10 microliters. This is an error message. Uh, at this point, what we've done is not useful. It's best at this point to close everything out because this demonstrates to me that the instrument isn't configured properly. So we do not wish to save that. Let's go back to hardware configuration. And we're set up with a syringe pump. The object of this experiment is to test the integrity of the entire system. So we don't want to introduce a sample through the syringe pump. We want to test the integrity of the liquid chromatograph. So let's uh, activate the LCMS profile. Sometimes it takes a second or two. Gosh, Bill, what did you do to it? The gas shut off, so we know it's okay. <laughs> okay, now we can see that the, the LCMS profile is selected. Let's close the hardware configuration and go to back where we were to build acquisition batch. Again, we'll put in, I'll put the date in there. And we'll select the method, add set, and let's do multiple methods just to demonstrate that and add samples. Call this test mix and we're going to do three samples. This time the injection volume is correctly set at 10 microliters. Uh, 
At this point, if we wanted to, we could change the, the file name. Uh, here you can see it's these are the indi individual file names. Uh, ends in O, ends in one, two, and three. Now, what it has done for those data files is it went ahead and automatically auto incremented the data files. So what you'll have is you'll have three individual file folders with one injection's worth of data. If you want one file folder with three injections worth of data, you don't want to auto increment. And my recommendation is in most cases you do not want to auto increment. Uh, it makes it easier to flip between pieces of data if you don't auto increment. But we can cover that when we actually go over uh, data processing. And one way you could change this here is to change, change the file a name designation at this point right here. Mm -hmm. Now here I clicked, I clicked on this particular box and we can choose if we wish to a different method for any one of these samples. And it was because we clicked, had this box clicked earlier. So the only, the only thing left to do here is designate the vial position. Well currently our test mixture solution is in position 20 in the auto sampler. If you had a quite a few samples, it, there's an easier way of uh, filling in these boxes. If we highlight all of this and then right click, we can either fill down or auto increment. But since, since these test mixture solutions are all in the same vial, we'll use the fill down feature. Okay. If we were doing quantitations, this is just for future reference, we could designate what sample type this is, whether it is unknown, standard, QC, blank, double blank, or solvent, which helps uh, fill out the quantitation table when we, as you'll see when we get to that. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to submit the samples to the instrument. This particular space right here is real useful for determining if you've made any errors in setup of the batch acquisition. There is no indication of any errors here. It said that there's three samples in the batch and there's three data files. Uh, if we put them all in one data file, it would have told us that here. Uh, I think the submit tab is over to the right. So we'll have to yeah, scroll over. No, maybe not. Well, it has to be there somewhere. We've expanded the screen, so it looks a little different than before. There's supposed to be a box up there. Mm -hmm. Minimize. Go ahead and minimize the analyst and the whole thing, and pop it back open and see if it. Oh yeah, we can get rid of that. So go to view, and piece. there you there go. There it is, okay. <laughs> we knew it was there somewhere. For demonstration purposes, the, the, the screen size is a little different than what you would normally mm -hmm. use. Uh, and normally the submit button is readily available. So we're gonna click on submit. So at this point, the sample should have been submitted to the what is called the queue. Let's bring back up the navigation bar. The queue is a is a screen that lets you see what's going on with the instrument. What what samples have been uh, submitted? What samples are in line to be submitted? As well as uh, what point the, the the particular run that you're in. Uh, where it resides. So let's uh, make things easier, get rid of this navigation bar. So we can see our three samples here at the bottom. Uh, we'll maximize well, that pane, yeah. That we've there got we a go. Whole bunch of stuff in that queue. These three samples are, are, as the status indicates, waiting to be acquired. They're in vial position 20. Uh, and it is a new batch. So at this point, in order to get the, the sample 
uh, test mix injected, we would click on the, uh, what do I want to do here, Lisa? Well, the thing there we go. that we, got, we have to remember when we use the submit for the batches is that just because you submit it doesn't mean that it automatically starts the process. So at this point, we have to activate the system. Yeah, as so we, we can, can see, click. as we can see down here in the right hand corner, mm -hmm. uh, everything's in yellow, which means it's on standby. Mm -hmm. So we want to get it to, to these, uh, to the green mode or the ready, which number one, we want to not reserve the instrument for tuning anymore. Mm -hmm. So I click on that and then we want to put it in the ready mode. And we can hear the gas start and a click of, from the instrument. And now the start sample is no longer in gray, so it's available uh, for starting the run. So if we click on that. You can also see on the queue right here, on the right-hand side, it's got the queue server boxes. And it now says that it's in a pre-run. Previously, it told us that it was in standby and also ready when we activated it. So not only can you use the icons at the bottom, but you can also use the Q server status at the top. So this, this is how you set up uh, an acquisition. At any point, you can go back to the, uh, to the navigation bar, uh, go back to build acquisition batch, set up another one, uh, submit it to the queue as well, and it would append to the end of the table. Also, if you wish to, uh, you can delete uh, examples from the queue as well. So this sample will run then, uh, this test mixture sample will run, and it, it will enable us to determine if the LC and GC mass spec uh, or have met the acceptance criteria that we that we set.